Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either allow or deny writing access to fixed data drives that are not protected by BitLocker. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 devices. Windows 10 Home does not have BitLocker, so you don't have to worry about going to the local group policy editor because they wouldn't even be able to do that anyway. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Local Group Policy. One of the best managers should come back with Edit Group Policy. You want to go ahead and left click on that. If you're running Windows 10 Home, you should not have BitLocker on your computer, so you shouldn't even be on this tutorial looking up and wondering where a Local Group Policy Editor is. So I just want to put that out there. So anyway, once you're here, you want to go collapse the user configuration section. So either just double click on it or left on a little arrow next to it to collapse it. Just don't want people getting confused here because we're going to be working underneath computer configuration for this tutorial. And we're going to expand the administrative templates folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the Windows components folder. So expand that as well. Go down and left click on the BitLocker drive encryption, expand that as well. And there should be something that says fixed data drives, left click on that. On the right side now there should be something that says deny write access to fixed drives not protected by BitLocker. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Now if you want to deny write access, you want to left click on enabled here, and then left click on OK. If you want to allow write access, you want to select disabled, left click on apply and OK to save the change, close out of here, and restart your computer and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.